Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This is another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, and this time we are again building a random investigator deck on Arkham DB using the Chaos mechanic on the website. Uh, as usual, I have removed the previous investigator from the investigator token bag, so I won't be picking a same investigator twice. So let's start by uh, drawing an investigator at random and I'm hoping to not get a mystic or a survivor this time so we get some variation in the classes and uh, well unfortunately we got uh, Akarchi so we are building another uh, mystic investigator so yeah um, let's hop onto arkhamdp.com and build the deck. Okay, and we have Akachi here, and as usual, we are using the whole card pool to build the deck. So let's just click the chaos button and see what we get. And here is the deck. So uh, we got two copies of Archaic Clips. <laughs> Pretty much useless in a standalone game. Well, it is what it is. Uh, then we got the Cryptic Grimoire, another useless card. Mm, flashlight, okay, well, not that usual. Well, there are a lot of uh, two shroud locations in the map, on the map, so might be useful. Then we got Obfuscation. Uh, it is a good card, but we'll see if it comes into use. Uh, I think. Um, Cancelling attacks is quite useful sometimes in this scenario. Then we have uh, our <laughs> only fighting uh, asset, which is Bitter, which is the worst one, only dealing one damage per attack. Then we have uh, one copy of... well, there is two copies of uh, Bitter, so at least there's that. Uh, then we have St. Hubert's Key, uh, a decent uh, asset on the accessory slot. And uh, then uh, we have a backpack, <laughs> okay, uh, not that many item assets, I think, so maybe that is not that useful. Well, um, we have the ropes of Endless Night, so synergizes with the backpack, also trench coat synergizes with the backpack, also boosts our uh, agility to 4, so makes us more able to evade. Uh, we have the Arcane Initiate, that is good for Akashi if we have a lot of spells, but I think we don't have that many spells. Uh, David Renfield generates resources and damage soak, so... Okay, Familiar Spirit, an um, extra spell asset slot, which is useless because we all have so few... Well, it's not useless, but it's pretty useless, because we only have three arcane slot uh, assets. Enchanted Blade is a good uh, weapon for Akachi and there are two copies so at least we can fight with the Enchanted Blade and it comes into play with uh, extra charges which is good synergy with Akachi. Smoking Pipe, well uh, we would have wanted to get maybe uh, the painkillers because then we could heal damage and not the other way around. Uh, then we have events. We have Dark Prophecy. Okay, uh, Moonlight Ritual, not useful. Quantum Flux, not useful. Voice of Raw, uh, 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 resource generation, okay. Uh, Ward of Radiance, useless, because we don't have any means of generating less. Uh, tokens enraptured um, allows us to put um, charges on assets so obfuscation and enchanted blade PLS uh, lets us heal horror uh, resilient not that useful Pro uh, prophesy um, okay for this sen uh, scenario because the doom thresholds are quite high uh, say your prayers, not useful at all. Uh, torrent of power. Mm. 
well, an another card that generates uh, charges. Uh, not that useful. Uh, one copy of Unexpected Courage, so that is at least good. And our a random basic weakness is Day of Reckoning. And it's uh, not that bad, but the Doom thresholds are high, so if we get this early on on an agenda, we won't be seeing the Elder Sign anytime soon. So, uh, that is the whole deck. So, I will be building the deck again, and then we can start the scenario. So, I'll build the deck and let's get started. Okay, and we have built the deck and uh, we are starting again at your house. As usual, we are playing on standard difficulty and because this is a standalone, the cool breeze is also in the encounter deck. And just before we start, um, I think this uh, will be <laughs> quite painful playthrough because we have next to no clue tech in the deck. Uh, just really hoping to keep the flat flashlight right away so uh, we have at least some way to get these clues off of the locations but not ha having high hopes on that but let's see how that game goes so I have three shuffled decks and again we are trying to defeat as many cultists as possible I think um, because Akachi is really good at fighting uh, with the Wither and the, Arc uh, the Enchanted Blade so our hope is to uh, maybe kill uh, the mask hunter and maybe the ghoul priest. So if, if uh, the ghoul priest comes out of the encounter deck, so at least that way we can get some victory points. But let's see how, what happens and to our opening hand. So uh, we get <laughs> arcane cliffs, uh, say of prayers, art of radiance, uh, press is. Press giant and the arcane initiate, so I'm mulliganing all of this, keeping the arcane initiate, so we can uh, try to find some spells to draw four more cards Moonlight Ritual, uh, Prophesy, Cryptic Grimoire, and Backpack, so utter uselessness. Uh, <laughs> at least we have uh, wild icons and um, uh, intellect icon there, so we can try to at least get the clue off of, of this location, but not holding my breath. I uh, forgot to add the resources for Akachi and the action counters, so we'll add those. And we are ready to start, so uh, first action, let's just play the Arcane Initiate. comes into play with Doom, we'll immediately use the Arcane Initiate to try and find a spell. And uh, no spell. What a running start we are having. Second action, we'll just try to investigate and I am committing Cryptic Grimoire to the test, so we are investigating uh, 3 versus 2. It's a plus 1, so we actually grab the clue. Last action will move to the river town. So next turn we might be able to get another, another clue and reveal one uh, cultist. So upkeep. We draw a card, say our prayers, and we gain one wisdom. So that was the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, and count the card is, and now I'm not hoping to get any enemies yet because we don't have any weapons. And it's a hunting night count, of course. So hunting night count uh, comes into play, engage with us. I think we are trying to evade this guy. So first action, we are evading. 
I'm using the backpack. So four versus one, and uh, the knight count doubles the minuses on the tokens. So actually, before that, uh, we will use the arcane initiate to look for spell. No spell. Yeah, we, we have so few spells in the deck, so this might take a while to for the Arcane Initiate to fish us one decent spell to use. Okay, uh, Evasion. We are using the Backpack. So, 4 versus 1. It's a minus 6. If you fail, place one of your clues onto your location. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, Let's try this again, and I'm just uh, trying to evade. So, for uh, three versus one, minus one becomes minus two. Still, we are able to evade, and uh, there are two easy clues here, so might as well try to get the clues here. So, investigating. I am using the Moonlight Ritual, so 3 versus 1 takes out the minus 2s. Plus 1, we grab one clue, and that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions, we go to upkeep, this guy's ready, and this guy engages us again. We'll draw a card, uh, we get Dark Prophesy, and uh, we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Encounter card is... Hunting Shadow. I honestly will take the damage. Because... Dropping the clues will get us nowhere. And... Uh, first action... Evade. I'm uh, just committing the Dark Prophesy. So... 4 versus 1. Actually, no point in committing because uh, if we hit a minus 2, we will fail. So we need to hit a minus 1 to for the evasion. It's an Elder Sign, so add one charge to an asset to, uh, with uses. We don't have any in play, so we just get the plus 1. But this uh, Night Count is uh, evaded at least. Second action we are investigating, and I'm committing the Prophesy. We have uh, three or more Doom in play, so we have two Wild Icons for this test. So, four versus one. Minus three, I won't fail, so we grab this clue. And last action, uh, let us get away from this Night Count. And I'm just thinking maybe we should uh, head to the south side. Let's do that. Let's go to the south side. There's one clue. And it's... Uh, set your deck for an ally asset and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Okay, well... That is our turn. No enemy actions. We go to upkeep. Oh yeah, before that we are... Actually using this guy. Uh, initiate again. And still no spells. Totally useless. <laughs> okay, now we will go to upkeep and ready everything and draw a card. Uh, we get the uh, ropes of endless night and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Uh, four of six encounter card is locked door. So the south side is locked. How fun. Well, not that bad. Uh, it's only one clue and uh, we have two clues to find one uh, cultist. So we will start by using the arcane initiate to search for a spell. Uh, both weaknesses, no spells, but at least we dodge the weaknesses so we can shuffle them back into the deck and hopefully get them Nearer to the bottom. First action. We will spend the clues. Draw 
one cultist and it is Peter Warren. Well, Peter is uh, turning around or going up frequently it seems. And um, uh, that means we need to go to the Miskatonic University, uh, spend either two clues or fight. So we are fighting three versus two, so we could just beat Peter up, but I would rather get an enchanted blade or something in play before that. I think we won't waste our time here, so I'll move to the St. Mary's Hospital. I will uh, use an, my last action to heal three damage, so I'm, I'm just healing myself here. Uh, that is all of our actions. Uh, the Night Count comes here. Be ready up. We draw a card. Uh, David Renfield, and we gain one resource. So we are not strong on resources, but we don't have that much stuff to pay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 5 of 6 2. Encounter card for this turn is Obscuring Fog. Well, we are not uh, investigating here that easily then. Oh well. Mm. Now, if we move to Miskatonic University, the Night Count will come and engage us. And uh, yeah, we are in a bit of a troublesome state, so let's try to find a spell. Uh, practice item clothing, item charm, no spells. So, five turns of trying to find a spell and no spells. So, <laughs> this is pretty hopeless for Akachi. Uh, first action will draw a card. Second action will draw a card. Third action will draw a card. Nothing of use. Ritual, practice, spell, ally patron, item clothing. Okay. Just trying to find a spell, but not meant to be. So, uh, I was thinking of playing Renfield, but uh, because Night Count comes in, uh, it will hit us for one damage and one more, so we'll just kill off the Arcan Initiate and lose one Doom, and we won't. Uh, advance the agenda next turn. So, enemy face, this guy hunts here, engages us, hits us for one damage and one horror, and we'll put it on the arcane initiate. Uh, we'll uh, ready up, draw a card, and gain one resource. So, still no weapons, spells, or anything useful. So, let's see. We I think we have too many cards one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. No, we have. Uh, the full hand limit of 8, so no, nothing needs to be discarded. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 of 6 Doom. Encounter Paris. Cool Priest. How nice. Well, we are royally fucked right about now. Pardon my French, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so we have the Night Count and the Cool Priest engaged with us, so we need to evade them and run away. So I'm thinking of... Uh, let's start from the Ghoul Priest. So we are using both of these cards uh, committed to the test. So 5 versus 4. Let's hope we at least are lucky to evade this guy. It's a zero, so the Ghoul Priest is evaded. At least. Second action, uh, we need to evade the night count. If we fail, we have to move because we can't stay here. And uh, I'm actually committing the spirit speaker to, well, no use. If we hit a minus two, we fail. So zero minus one or elder sign. And it is the auto fail. Okay. Last action, we'll move, we'll take one uh, damage and one horror. But at least uh, we get away from the Gold Priest, so... Uh, enemy face, the Night Guns hit us again. So one damage, one horror. 
that is all we ready up please give me something useful uh, enraptured not nothing useful and we gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we are at six doom so uh, we add a advance the agenda and it is the masked hunter so uh, four fight four health plus two per investigator so six and to evade humanoid cultist elite spawn engage with the prey prey must lose hunter mass hunter uh, stops us from discovering or spending clues so that is annoying and we are utterly stuck with all of these guys so first action we will try to evade the mask hunter and i'm committing the spirit speaker so we are evading four versus two so first action <laughs> auto fail second action uh, will evade the mask hunter again i think we don't have any more agility no, so three versus two. Fail and last action. We will evade the mass counter again. Three versus two. Cultist minus two plus one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Right it Okay, well we are dead because we couldn't get away from the wolf priest, so that was a really short game, so let's play it out. Uh, enemy phase, uh, the ghoul priest hunts here, engages us, ghoul priest hits us for 2 damage, 2 horror. Then, uh, well, the knight count hits for us for 1 horror and 1 damage, and the mass counter hits us for 2 damage, and 1 horror. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage, so we are defeated by damage. So, pretty awful run for Akachi. Zero experience, no cultist in the victory display. But that is uh, the life of a Chaos deck, so we weren't able to get even any weapons out. So, let's see. The next card would have been the Enchanted Blades would have given us really good chances of at least killing something, getting some victory points off of the Mass Hunter or the Cool Priest, or killing uh, Peter Warren eventually. And for Clue Tech, we really didn't have much, so well, there is one Wither. Yeah, uh, I think the flashlight is the <laughs> last card in the deck <laughs> okay well that was uh, Eye of Chaos with Akachi Onelele not the best run ever maybe the worst run ever I have had in this uh, scenario but it is what it is still it was fun to try to uh, do something with an awful deck it's a challenge and that's how you should uh, think when playing these kinds of challenge uh, scenarios. So hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.